Good morning. We're driving from Donach to Kies all along the east coast of the NC500. We are going to stop at Dunrobin Castle, which looks like it comes straight out of a fairy tale. And there should also be uh, some other beautiful stops along the way. But first, we are here at Coco Mountain in Dorna, and we're going to try what they claim to be the best hot chocolate. Good start to the day. They drizzle some chocolate on top of it. I'm excited. Where's mine? <laughs> you don't get any. No, <laughs> we're sharing. The hot chocolate itself is quite thin, but I think what makes it really special is the white and milk chocolate drizzled on top. I think they might be right about being the best hot chocolate, or at least a strong contender. First stop is at Loch Fleet Nature Reserve. It's a good place to spot seals and otters. Let's see if we get lucky. I can smell the ocean. We have spotted a couple of seals, but they don't stay on the surface very long. They surface for a second or two, and then they dive into the sea again. So we've just arrived at the Don Robin Castle and uh, we have a tour in a couple of minutes, so we're kind of running late. <laughs> you made Very last minute. Yeah, just in time. We just beat this gigantic tour bus of people uh, here, so... <laughs> No, <laughs> I just missed it. That one is cute. It's called Little Owl. They thought long and hard about that name. This is the bird that almost beheaded me. It's called the Peregrine Falcon. It's the fastest bird in the world. So it can fly about 200 miles per hour. Cool. What did I tell you? Is this fairy tale or what? Oh this is giant rhubarb. It's huge. Actually edible. What it says there is that they peel the leaf stock and then dip it in salt and just eat it raw like that. It doesn't have the same tang flavor as garden rhubarb, the rhubarb we have in Europe. Originally from Brazil. And 
this room is just for breakfast. No other meal, just breakfast. So we've just finished the tour. It was what, two, three hours? We spent at least oh, we two spent... hours here. This is only our second stop on the East Coast. We're only really just starting our journey. We did not account enough time to drive to the East Coast of the NC500. What's your verdict about this place? I think my favorite part was the giant rhubarb in the garden. It made it feel even more fairy tale like my favorite experience was the falcon experience where we saw it was a falcon and a what do you call it one was from america right yeah and one was <laughs> oh. we're so bad at this <laughs> we can't remember the names of the birds one was the fastest in the world the other was not <laughs> stop number three Big Burn Falls. The gorge is really deep and this bridge looks like it's being stapled together. <laughs> you know what they say about moss? But the uh, air is good. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's very nice. So that was it, just a 650 meter walk to get here. Well, I think it's a nice stop along the route. If you don't have time for a full hike and just want to see a little bit of nature, then I think it's beautiful. We're kind of running low on energy at this moment in time. Yeah. <laughs> As you can probably hear from our voices. We haven't eaten anything but a bowl of oats. <laughs> we need to get some lunch or, well, dinner. So we're gonna see if we can find a fish and chips place or anything else would do, to be honest. Yeah, but first five other attractions on the way <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to the north. <laughs> yeah, uh. we're not gonna be able to do that, so probably we'll have to either skip some stuff or, yeah, we'll have to skip it because we've got no other choice. Yeah, we did do a lot of research and many people recommended spending the bulk of the trip on the west coast and the east coast wasn't really recommended so we only booked one day here um, but i think you need at least two days i think so too as and it's really beautiful on the east side as well yeah so either the west is really amazing which we still have to see mm -hmm. or people just maybe went the wrong places <laughs> This is stop number four, Hill o Many Stains. Stains, like in Dutch. Stains. It's really cold. <laughs> I feel it in my neck. Yeah. <laughs> so no one really knows the purpose of these stones. Some people say it used to be a graveyard, um, and some say it was some kind of astronomical tool or calculator. Yeah, but they think it might be between 3,000 to 4,000 years old which is incredible. Stop number five, Waligu Steps. Wow, this is actually worth the visit. The steps were built in 1792. Don't move any before. I promise? I would. 